fucking has great skull. We got it, we got it, Steve. Come on, buddy. <laughs> we did it. Hey guys, welcome to Source Man Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and we are here at the Mattel Design Center in El Segundo, California to mm -hmm. check out some really cool San Diego Comic Con exclusives and also other cool stuff. So let's do it. Let's do it. And we are here with the toy guru. Scott Knightley! Oh, what? <laughs> There's some magical stuff going on. We do magical stuff here. <laughs> it's all pixie dust and Barbie sparkles. <laughs> not, well, not, not all Barbie sparkles. Not all Barbie sparkles. We also have He-Man sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, it's an honor to meet you, sir, and it's an honor to be here. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and let the people at home know who exactly you are. The people at home, um, <laughs> my name's Scott Knight. I'm a marketing manager here at Mattel. I've been at Mattel for almost nine years, eight years? Long time. You lose track. I work on MaddieCollector.com and a lot of the adult collector toys that we do, which includes things like Masters of the Universe classics, DC Universe Signature Series, Ghostbusters, Ultron, the Adam West 1966, all of our Comic-Con stuff, um, which includes just a huge amount of great, great stuff for collectors this year. We've got to get into like the Ghostbusters stuff and the Back to the Future stuff too, because the hoverboard is awesome. I own one myself and I love it very dearly. I, I think the hoverboard is like probably one of like the top five toys I've ever gotten to do. Okay, I've got to ask like, where is there any possibility of new Back to the Future stuff at all? At this point, that's a little tough. The hoverboard was, you know, definitely the one to do, not only because everyone wants a hoverboard, but it was made by Mattel right. in the movie. Mm -hmm. I think actually the success of the hoverboard may have actually, uh, because every other company in the world now saw that and now started like eating up all of like the Back to the Future licenses. I think oh, I saw no. another company put out a Mr. Fusion. We kind of got the hoverboard, which rightly so, because no one, no one else could make no it. No one else could make it. Yeah. It's got that Mattel logo right. slapped on it in the movie. <laughs> the hoverboard actually will have a very few remaining stock that we're actually bringing to Comic-Con this year. So you could buy it right in our booth. We have a few boards that were autographed by Michael J. Fox. 100% of the proceeds are gonna go to his Parkinson's. Oh, that's Shut awesome. That's amazing. So that'll be launched at Comic-Con. I think the, uh, we'll have the URL. So bid on a hoverboard, autographed by Michael J. Fox, and help Parkinson's. Please Yay. do, because we know that that's a very awesome cause. Personally, for me, my favorite stuff in the Maddie line has been the Ghostbusters stuff. I actually <laughs> own the uh, the PKE meter at home, which you actually have here. Da, da, da. Uh, you can buy this right now on Maddie oh. Collector. Look at that. It really Dude, I love works. This so it much. really meters. It really meters. And what's awesome is this actually syncs with our new Ghostbuster prop, which is da, 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 the Ecto Goggles. Want? Want? Yeah. Must have? Must have? So these are the Ecto Goggles, which mm -hmm. are going to go on sale in August. We'll have them at San Diego Comic Con, so fans can really try them out. One of the reasons we want to make sure everyone gets to wear these at Comic Con is when you put them on and you, you, you actually will see animations of Slimer going back and forth in the screen. And if you have the PKE, the Ecto goggles comes with an extra little plug. You just pop it right into that hole, conveniently in the PKE meter already. That's what she said. <laughs> it syncs with the Ecto goggles. So the faster the PKE meter goes, the faster the ghosts are gonna go. Okay. And exclusively if you have the PKE meter, you will not only see Slimer, but you can now see the library ghost. The library ghost! Yes, you can only see the library ghost if you have the PKE. Oh, I love so this so much. Can I just, what, look, is it a problem if I wanna wear these all the time? Like, can I get prescription lenses put in here and I, I could just wear these? I think according to Mattel Legal, you are not supposed to use those while driving a car. No! Oh, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Officer, look, I'm hunting for ghosts. You should understand, it's Officer, important. Officer, Bustin makes me feel good. Yeah. I don't know what else I can <laughs> also, say about that. Also, I hear they like the girls. <laughs> okay, so Trisha, hold this for a second. Yes, I've got my, my dear. credit card right here. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so what we do, we just you know, swipe that. Ah, just perfect! Like that. With all this cool Ghostbusters stuff, I've got to ask as well, any new Ghostbusters stuff coming in the future? Oh, we will have some Big, big Ghostbuster reveals at Comic Con. Uh, they want to be there both at Preview Night on Wednesday okay. and at our fan panel, which is 11 o'clock on Friday the 19th, mm -hmm. room 25A, B, and C. You will definitely want to be there because it's one of our biggest Ghostbuster items ever. Show it on your face. Oh yeah, oh it's God. awesome. So you're making a containment unit that can actually go on your wall <laughs> and light up, right? <laughs> yeah, just don't bring any like uh, you know environmental agents over here. And we'll make the containment yeah. unit work with the traps. Awesome. So here we are with some of the San Diego Comic Con uh, toys that you will be able to purchase just at Comic Con. We've got three of them here. I'm holding the Batusi Batman. This is the packaging for it. And then you get this packaging underneath. Scott, tell us a little bit about the design of this and uh, why you guys came up with this as an exclusive. We have a line of the, you know, the classic Batman TV series at retail, mm -hmm. uh, but you'll only be able to get Batusi Batman. There it goes, he's walking out. 
you press the button on the back, which you're actually pressing a button on the figure. It's a cutout, yeah. and that causes the Batusi, uh, you know, movement that we also know from Pulp Fiction. Oh, that's I love amazing! It so much. And uh, the, the art is by Shag. Love Shag. Yay! Yeah. It's a very cool. original Shag art there. Of course, all of the Comic Con items, while they're first at the show, they're also on MaddieCollector.com about two weeks after the show. So people who don't go to Comic Con will have a chance to maybe buy some of these cool items. Yep. Yep. Very cool. First come, first serve. Uh, Limited, the product. Oh man, that means I know that's why they're exclusives. That's the fun of. Comic-Con, everyone's doing exclusives. You gotta stand in lines and everyone's uh -huh. wanting that one figure. You hope you get it, it's so much fun, I love it. I'm holding here the Hot Wheels Beach Bomb Asteroids. Uh, well, the Asteroids Beach Bomb. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this figure? This is actually the first time I think anyone's seen the package. It's in an old fashioned, you know, 80s arcade machine and there you have the classic Hot Wheels Beach Bomb. And if you press the little button right there. Play that arcade machine. So cool! You get the old, uh, yeah, the old Atari uh, sound effect. I there. feel like you need it just for the packaging. <laughs> Tell us what's going on in the world of Motu. Scott. The world of Motu. So this is this is Rock on and Stone Dark. Rock on was. I, not just like my favorite Motu figure as a kid, he was like my favorite toy. Like it didn't yeah. even matter to me that he was a He-Man figure. I just love the idea of these figures that rolled up into balls. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Rock. So you get them both. It's sixty dollars um, because you get a ton of this Snap-on Rock armor that you'll actually be able to fold them up as rocks. Ah, that's so cool. So there, there's Rock on and Stone Dark in rock form. This is like '80s toy flashback awesome. One hundred percent, yes. Oh my god, yeah. it doesn't get any better than this. Do so these awesome. share with the original mold like type? design or like are these a brand new design yeah. from the originals? Oh, they, I mean, the originals were, you know, half the size. They sure, were, little, sure. were five inch figures. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some shared parts with this, mm -hmm. like some of the legs, like I think he's got the trap jaw legs and stuff. That's you great. know, but all the Moju Classics figures are very much, you know, like the vintage line, big on shared parts. Mm -hmm. right. But all the rock armor, I mean, on both of them is fully new tool. There's a lot of new tooling in this set. Now um, on these figures, the rock armor is not removable. Actually. Figure, right? Or is uh -oh. it? Let's put that down. So you just clip. Oh, look there. at that! Let's talk about piece count, kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look at how cool these things are, and when you see these things in person, you really there's just that childlike glee within you that just kind of glows and we instantly. Go for that. That's the, the goal thing. is glee. Yeah. Oh, and there glee, it was. Glee and nostalgia. <laughs> I love it. So now we get to open these all up and play with them. Together, oh heck right? yeah! Of course. <laughs> yeah. I hope you have a big bathtub we could all sit in and play. We're the it. first ones to play with these ever. Yeah, ever. not you. Beep 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 pew pew. Oh, take that. I have to mention really quick uh, how awesome of a job Mattel always does. With with packaging. When it comes to toy collecting, you don't want to take it out of the package, you want to keep it in the package. So if you have a package you can play with, that's even cooler. Like this year we've got Weberella. Whole new outfit. This is her superhero outfit. There's right. a whole line of the uh, the Monster High characters as superheroes. It's at retail now, but you can only get her at Comic-Con. Another cool packaging option that we have uh, in the Motu line, of course. Da -da -da -da. Yep. So You cool. have a castle here with Mini He-Man and Skeletor. So it's uh, obviously the, the little drawbridge comes down and on the back you've got two scenes here as well. So without even taking the figures out of the box. I super appreciate that because I'm the kind of collector that like I always debate whether I want to take my figures out of the package or not. And with these really cool exclusive packaging, you don't really have to. You can just display it like this. I don't think there's any other toy company really going this far with packaging and just kind of presentation, mm. which I super appreciate as a collector that doesn't necessarily open my toys. Yeah, our packaging group and the designers. I mean, this isn't, you know, I'm here talking kind of the spokesman, but really this is the hard work of so many toy makers. Packaging, design, safety, legal, marketing, engineering, you know, all of our partners in Hong Kong and here in El Segundo, this is not like one man show. And I really want to make sure everyone knows like how much hard work from the whole team goes into this. You know, they don't always get the feedback from the fans. So it's really nice to hear how much well, it's, you Well, we know, like it. Appreciated. Yeah, we absolutely love it. And I'm sure our viewers team love effort. it also. Yeah. yeah. And come Comic-Con, which is just around the corner, people are going to go nuts for this stuff. So we're very excited about that. Can't wait to see you there. Can't wait yeah. to see these there. I will be there. Thank you so much, Oh, Scott, you're welcome. Thank you guys for coming us. out. It was always good to see oh you. My and, God. Uh, we'll see you guys at San Diego Comic-Con. Stop course. by the Mattel booth and make sure to hit our panel 11 o'clock Friday the 19th, room 25, A, B, and C. Come early. Awesome. Yeah, and let us know in the comments down below what you're most looking forward to on a toy collector standpoint at Comic-Con this year. Also, please like and subscribe if you haven't done that already or click this awesome annotation. You can see all the other videos we put up on SourceFed Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Scott Knightley. Yeah, you are. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go play with some toys. Toys! Yeah. All right, Shazam! <laughs>